So um, let's get back to Eric Adams. This, this, this mayor who spews, who is a Democrat, but he spews conservative and Republican talking points. At the end of the day, we have a name for someone like this. And this is someone we call a Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, LeBron. We back with another video. You see the thumbnail. You see this video is about. So let's get straight into it. So we got Hawk Newsom going on Fox News calling New York City Mayor Eric Adams a, a, a boon. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying it like I'm blood. I'm not trying to get demonetized. So they call him a boon. And you know what I mean by that, right? There's a lot. There's a lot going on with this. There's a lot that's wrong with this. You know what I'm saying? But before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn notifications because on this channel, we got thought provoking videos such as this one right here, reaction videos. And once a month, I do a review on a black owned product. And once a week, I do a live called Wednesday Night Live where we have real thought provoking conversations. It'd be great content. You guys don't want to miss out. So make sure you hit subscribe and hit all. All right, man. So I don't know why, I don't know what, what came about this, but Hope Newsom came on to Fox News and he decided he needed to call out New York City Mayor Eric Adams. Um, I'm gonna play the clip of him speaking about it and during the clip, you know, I'm gonna pause it and give you my, my comments on it, my thoughts on it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is also in the description box, I'll put the, uh, the link to the clip so you can watch it in its entirety without my uh, interpretations on it. All right, let's get straight into it. FBI data showing a 32% increase from 2019 to 2020 and a 43% surge in 2020 compared to the previous decade. All this when the defund movement took off. Fox News Digital reaching out to BLM about the numbers last week, not yet receiving a response. We will, however, get one now from Hawk Newsom, co-founder of BLM of Greater New York. Hawk, nice to see you. Nice to meet you in person. A couple things to go over that defund question in a second here, but listen to the mayor, Eric Adams, who said this okay. just this past week also. Where are all those who stated Black Lives Matter. If Black Lives Matter, then the thousands of people I saw on the street when Floyd was murdered should be on the street right now say, stating that the lives of these Black children that are dying every night matters. We can't I, be hypocrites. The, the subject is African Americans. I, I would also argue white lives matter too. Everybody's life mm -hmm. matters here. Um, what, what the mayor contends, though, is that the same reaction is not given. What would you say to him? It was smooth the way you threw White Lives Matter in there. I probably <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was uh, pretty smooth, I guess, right? That was kind of funny that he threw that White Lives Matter in there. Knowing knowing that Mr. Newsom was gonna take the bait and say something about it, um, I did I did peep that. I think that he did do that because he knew he was gonna get a, a, a reaction to it. And I also think they played this clip with Hope Newsom there so they could go viral, which it did. But let's continue. When it's when Black Lives are oppressed and don't receive justice, nobody cares, nothing happens. Something happens to a white person, the world moves, right? So um, let's get back to Eric Adams. This, this, this mayor who spews, who is a Democrat, but he spews conservative and Republican talking points. At the end of the day, we have a name for someone like this. And this is someone we call a See, this is, this is crazy. You call this man a boon because he have conservative talking points. And he's a black man who has conservative talking points. It's like you can't have a disagreement and can't have like, all right, you ha uh, clearly you have liberal talking points and he has conservative talking points. So you as a black man, him as a black man can't come together, have a, dis a disagreement to come to an agreement without the name calling and calling each other or calling him a racial slur. See, that's why you know what I'm saying at this point right here. It kind of loses me like, damn, you took it that far. And not to mention, you know what I'm saying? You took it that far on Fox News. So you let you went, you had an in-house problem with somebody that looked like you and you took it to a, a white news channel. Let's be clear. Fox News uh, do cater more towards white people. And you called this black man a racial slur. So basically you could you could call him that on their airwaves. And they could, find, they could probably feel the same way about him. But you said that for them on their airwaves. And the funny part is, they didn't correct you and say, hey, that's not the nice thing to say. Or you shouldn't say things like that. They let it continue because they know 
they they're not gonna come in between two black men calling each other a racial slur. Watch it, watch. Right, because if whoa. he's oh, see, all he said was whoa. That's it. Rest in peace, Black Rob. Black man, and he's a white man in blackface, and a very conservative-minded white man at that. So his issue is that Eric Adams is a Democrat that has conservative views. Yeah, I think, you know, me watching things in New York, Eric Adams was a man who, uh, who was like, you know what? I want to do things more, more police orientated. You know what I'm saying? And he knew that he would have won running as a Democrat and which he did. And he wanted to do things more for the police. Like he's, he's from the police background and he figured that the police way is the way it's working. And that's the way that he's going to approach. So what we have is a man with hundreds of people on the city's payroll, billions of dollars in budget, and 40,000 police officers. He has 10, 10, 10 victims in one night. The night before, he had 16 shooting victims on a train. And they say, what are you going to do about policing? And he says, what about BLM? I agree with that. I agree with that. He talked about 26 victims in two days span. And people are pressing him. They press, they're pressing the mayor with all these resources that Hawk Newsom just, just uh, mentioned. And he says, what about Black Lives Matter? See, that was kind of weak. And when I first saw that clip, I was very disappointed in uh, Mayor Adams because I'm like, damn, bro, like, why would you try to pass the buck to Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter is not out there um, policing the neighborhood. This is what you came and said you're going to do. You said crime is going to go down under your watch. And now that crime is not going down under your watch, you blaming everything else. First, you blaming drill music. You're saying that the internet need to ban drill music. And next, you're saying that it's Black Lives Matter fault. You know what I'm saying? I don't agree with Hulk Newsom coming on Fox News, calling him a boon. However, I do agree with him saying that, yay, this is something that's going on in your city. You want to blame Black Lives Matter and say where Black Lives Matter at. You know, that's a sucker move. When you do stuff like that, that's a sucker move. Let's be clear. But let's continue. Is America not smart enough to see him deflecting? Like, well, that, this that is... might be the case. I didn't see the entirety of the interview, but there's yeah. a ton of topics discussed with him. He was See, it's crazy because now even the host is saying I, that might be the case. See, he's saying that it's deflecting. It is deflecting. It's like you can't just go out there and say, oh, one thing. If somebody asks you one question directed towards you and you go and blame a whole other group of people that's not in control of controlling of what could be done. That's, that is a, the textbook definition of deflecting. With us last week, and what, what he told Dane and me is that we'll continue to take guns off the street, uh -huh. whether it's white, black, or what, yeah. whatever the category you want to put it in, and that dangerous people will not be a part of the revolving door system, the legal system in New York. To now, that you would say. now, here's the thing, man. You're smarter than this. Don't listen to what Eric Adams says. He gives great press statements. He's the, he's the master of the press conference. Some kid dies, he hugs their mother, he's holding up sneakers, he's crying. But what we elected him for, the city of New York, was to keep the city safe. This city is a war zone and he can't stop it. So with all his power, he turns to BLM and says, what are you gonna do? Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. He's right, he's right. New York City is a war zone. New York City is not safe, LA is not safe. And like you said, we hire you with that Mindset is saying that this is what you're going to do. This is what you promised to do. And this is how you this is how you run it. You run it blaming it on drill music and you run it blaming on BLM. That's weak. We're going to organize people in our communities to go out and preach a message of love and unification in the streets. We're going to take control of our cities because the government has failed us for decades. Even when crime is low, we're still dying. And we have to fix this problem ourselves because we believe that poverty is the mother of crime. And until we fix that, there'll never be a decrease in crime. I agree with that last part too. I'm glad he said that as well. You know, Hulk Newsom didn't just come here with, you know, calling him a boon and just leaving at that. He also came with talking points of what, you know, he's prepared to do in, in, in New York. And I kind of wish that uh, Black Lives Matter of Greater New York would change their name because they are affiliated with Black Lives Matter, Patrice Culls, Colors, Black Lives Matter. And I kind of wish they would change their name because you see that they're trying to do the things that need to be done in the community. You know what I'm saying? You see the things they're trying to do, but unfortunately they're tied to that name now. And that name is tarnished. 
Let's be real. That name is tarnished. But uh, I think that it was kind of weak that he called him a boon. But I do also think it's extra weak. It's extra weak that Mayor Eric Adams came out and blamed Black Lives Matter and drill music and other things for the for the crime in the city. You know what I'm saying? He blaming other things for the crime in the city. And it's like, damn, this is your first year. And what you do is you deflect and you say that it's other people's fault. Why is crime in the city? And this is your city. This is something that you wanted to take on. You know what I mean? But let me know how you feel about that in the comments, man. I, I do think that he's wrong and he's right. You know what I'm saying? And I do agree with Eric Adams saying, where's Black Lives Matter when black people die? But the question was, what are you going to do about the crime in the city? It's not about uh, where's the protesting at. You know what I'm saying? I do I do see I do see the agreement of saying we do need more, more people upset about black people dying like they was upset about George Floyd dying when it was, it was, the death is being done by, you know, black and brown hands. But those are my thoughts about that, man. I appreciate you guys' time. Leave something in the comments. All right, man, until next time. Peace.